Let's look at that final play one more time because you love the call by Taylor Jenkins and also Clay on defense. This is an excellent play call. A lot of misdirection right here. That's a lot of fluff. All they wanted to do is get Brandon Clark to catch the ball right here. Josh sprinting really, really hard down the left side, getting to that strong left hand. We know how he finishes. Clay Thompson, great defense. At the end of the play, you see Gary Payton the second trying to get in there as well. And Clay did a great job of realizing that Brandon Clark wasn't going to be the primary scorer. When he, when he got the ball, Clay was already rotating to where Ja was going to be at because he understood the Brandon, they didn't draw this play up for Brandon Clark to go one-on-one. -on -one. So the play design was great, but at the same time, Golden State did an excellent job of defending it. But watch it again. All that's fluff. All they want to do is get Brandon Clark open right there, and then they want, that, they want you to go to sleep, and Ja's able to creep down the left side. Against a lot of teams, they probably get a layup right there. Ja was this close to getting one himself. He's in disbelief that he missed that shot. But at the end of the day, that was a great play design. It was executed well. It just didn't fall. It didn't go in. And Golden State's able. Looking at the Memphis Grizzlies going forward after this, how do you regroup from a tough loss like this where you felt like you were this close to having it? Well, the way you regroup is you simply, first of all, you have to have good leadership within that locker room. Let guys, hey, listen, it's just one game. We didn't get the result that we wanted, but we were right in here. We hung with one of the best teams in the league, and we were able to go ahead and have a chance to win at the end. Now, the next thing you do is you look at what your mistakes were, some of the shots you gave up. How do we limit Jordan Poole's effectiveness? How do we take away some of these good looks? And then at the same time, Golden State was really, really getting after it on the offensive glass. 16 offensive rebounds. That's the story of the game. We're going to talk about Poole. We're going to talk about the defense. But at the end of the day, you can't give up 16 offensive rebounds if you're the Memphis Grizzlies, especially in a game where Draymond Green